Hey, Claude Pollan here, affiliate starting line. Welcome. This is going to be part four of the iMovie series. Um, we did the first part where we kind of looked at this graphic user interface, and I explained the different parts of it. And let's see how the different displays change depending on what you're doing. So <clears throat> if you recall in lesson one, we have five areas that we're looking at. We have a top nav bar up here, file, edit, mark, modify, view, etc. We have a second nav bar right below it where you have the minimizing uh, buttons, so you hide, uh, import, create, share, library, theater, enhance, and adjust. And then over on this section here, you have your browser area, you have your viewing screen, and down here is an area where normally you would do your editing, and that's and where uh, pictures and projects will display. If you select them, we'll see that in a minute. And then down below, when you're in editing, there is an area here, another library area, where you can find effects and transitions. So what happens when I click iPhoto library? What happens is, it defaults to my iPhoto library. And um, you can see here that there are a lot of things you can select. You can select events. This is now showing all the events. You can go to faces if you have anything in your iPhoto faces. Places if you have something in places in iPhoto. Your albums, your Facebooks, uh, uploads, the iCloud where your photo stream is and slideshows, if you have slideshows. So that's what happens when you pick iPhoto. Now you can import from iPhoto into um, iMovie, and you do that through uh, your iMovie library here, and you, know, you can pick one of these. You can see that I've already had that selected, but let's say I want to pick a photo. I have to find one with only one photo. Otherwise, you have to open up. Let's take this. Uh, this is all right. Here we go. And I can take this and just drag it over to the event that I want to put it in and drop it in. And then if I go to this event, you'll see the picture is there. And I've imported a bunch of different pictures. So that's one thing. When you have iPhoto, you'll notice that this video screen works. And this down here displays all of your whatever you've selected. This is in a Christmas folder. All my events are here, and then I can select this as I discussed. Events. If I go to my events, then it's going to display again in my below here all the events that I've, that I've created that I may be working in. Projects. It's going to again here display the projects that I've edited. It shows the uh, movie clapper bar, so if I pick uh, Flamingo Park, it'll show that, etc. And then iMovie Library, it will show the different projects that I'm that I've created that I could work on. Um, so if I pick this one, now when you want to, if let's say I wanted to rework this, I would double click this clapper, it would send the um, visual information up here into the browser. I would have the the uh, viewing screen here on the right where it normally is and now I'm ready to edit and I can add effects etc so that's how you work and how these things display you'll notice that the content library is now just showing down here so depending on what you select in your sidebar um, you will get different configurations of what displays on your in the graphic user interface. Normally, the way it's set up is you have a viewing screen on top and the, all the information for the event, the library, the event, or the project down below, as you can see here. And then when you go to your mute library, you can open up one of your library, your, and then if you double click it, it comes up and you can go back into the edit mode. So that's really kind of how it works. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, and. It takes a little while to play with it and get the knack of it, but once you have it down, uh, it starts to make sense. So I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Plan Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.